Hey everyone, we'll be converting from decimal to hexadecimal. Our first decimal example number will be 43. To convert this to hexadecimal, we will divide it by 16 first. We divide it by 16 since hexadecimal represents a base 16 number system. 43 divided by 16 will give us 2.6875, which will give us 2 remainder 11. The 2 is the number that's on the left of the decimal point. And where did the 11 come from? Well, we do 0 0.6875 times 16, which gives us 11. Next, we bring the 2 down here, then divide it by 16, which will give us 0 0.125. And it will be 0 remainder 2, since 16 can't really fit into 2. And the 2 was 0 0.125 times 16, which gave us that number. Next, we have a look at the remainders, and we write them down here. During these conversions, 10 corresponds to A, 11 corresponds to B, 12 corresponds to C, 13 corresponds to D, 14 corresponds to E, and 15 corresponds to F. Here we can see that 2 will correspond to A2, 11 will correspond to the B. So the decimal number of 43 converted to the hexadecimal number will be given to us as 2b and then base 16. Another example would be the decimal value of 124. We would divide it by 16, which will give us 7.75, which will give us 7 remainder 12. So the 7 was the value on the left-hand side of the decimal point, and the 12 was 0 0.75 times 16. Then we bring the 7 down, divided by 16, which will give us 0 0.4375, which will give us 0 remainder 7. There's a 0 since 16 can't fit inside a 7, and the 7 was 0 0.4375 times 16. Then we have a look at the remainders and write them down. And then we see which values they would correspond to. So the 7 will correspond to a 7, and the 12 will correspond to a C. So the decimal value of 124 converted to hexadecimal will be 7C. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed it.